The nation will be heading towards a political and constitutional crisis if Prime Minister Mahidin Yassin fails to test his support in the Diwan Rakyat after losing the backing of UMNO. This is the view of two lawyers, constitutional expert Bastian Pius Vendagan and Rafiq Rashid Ali. According to them, Mahidin cannot ignore the decision announced by UMNO President Ahmed Zahid Hamidi last night to pull out the party's support for him as Prime Minister. Vendagan said Mahidin may also need to call for an emergency sitting of Parliament to test his support. He added that UMNO MPs did not have to sign statutory declarations on their support or rejection of Mahidin. Therefore, as of now, the only way forward was for Mahidin to hold an emergency parliamentary sitting to test his support. Under Article 43 of the Federal Constitution, Vendagan explained, Mahidin would need to submit his resignation to the king if he no longer commanded a majority in Parliament, and advise the king to hold an election or appoint an interim prime minister. Rafiq agreed that Mahidin could not ignore the decision made by UMNO to retract support as it might lead to a constitutional crisis at a time when the country faced a health and economic crisis. Under Article 145 of the Federal Constitution, Rafiq said Attorney General Idris Haran had a responsibility to advise the government and the king whenever a prime minister loses his majority. Rafiq noted that there were now 77 MPs with the government after UMNO's decision to withdraw its support. According to Institute Darul Esan, the opposition now has 143 MPs, UMNO, PKR, DAP, Amana, Warrison, Pekwang and Muda, Parti Sarawak Bursatu and UPKO. Those with the government are Bursatu, PA, Star, Independent, Mike, MCA, PBRS, PBS, Gabungan Party Sarawak. According to Rafiq, Mahidin was facing a similar situation as his predecessor Dr. Mahathir Mohamad last year. Mahathir had resorted to Article 43 of the Constitution and tendered his resignation and the resignation of his entire cabinet, Rafiq said. But, he said, Mahidin could also speak to individual MPs for support instead of party-based support which could see the birth of a coalition that is based on the support of individual MPs. Mahidin could test his support through a motion of confidence in the House under Rule 11 of the Standing Order, said Rafiq. Another constitutional expert, Gurdiel Singh, said that under Article 43 it was obligatory for Mahidin to tender his resignation if there was evidence that he had lost the support of a majority of MPs. He said the king, under Article 43 would normally call the next largest party to discuss who should be the new prime minister. If no single party has a clear majority to run the government, Gurdiel said the biggest party could seek an alliance to get the numbers. Gurdiel also said Mahidin could test his support through a motion of confidence in Parliament. <laughs>